Hello everyone, my name is Srikanth and I am part of Partner Solutions team here at Salesforce. Today I would like to talk about my proof of concept on multi-agent orchestration framework, mainly using OpenAI Swarm coupled with Agent Force. To give a high level overview about Swarm, it is a lightweight, flexible framework for orchestrating multiple AI agents. Swarm provides libraries to define your agents and also calling functions, which in turn call your deployed AI agents. Another main feature I wanted to highlight here is about the transfer function, which facilitates transferring the tasks from one agent to another. So this enables chaining of agents to accomplish independent tasks. Next, I would also like to talk about Mac project, which I have used to build two of my AI agents. MAC basically stands for MuleSoft AI Chain Project. The objective of MAC is to help organizations to design, build, and manage AI agents. This is all within the MuleSoft platform and in a completely no-code, low-code approach. On the left-hand side of this slide, you can see all the enterprise applications you can connect to using MuleSoft connectors and also bring in all this data to your AI agents. And below you can see all the vector databases you can connect using the Mac vector connectors. And on the right hand side, you can see all the LLM providers which your AI applications can talk to using all the Einstein AI and other connectors. Some of the main connectors uh, Mac offers is mainly the MuleSoft AI chain which provides a unification layer for LLM vector store along AI services. Next, the Mac Einstein AI connector helps to interact with the model CAPI of the Salesforce platform and benefit from its trust layer and automation capabilities. Other significant connectors are the Amazon Bedrock uh, to talk to Amazon Bedrock agents, their respective knowledge bases and so on. Coming to the solution architecture of my uh, POC, this is basically a healthcare use case where a user can submit a query related to three topics. Firstly, clinical summarization for a patient's health condition. Second one is related to medical medication information like side effects and dosages of medicines. The third one being performing pneumonia diagnosis for a patient with all the details retrieved from Salesforce. The process flow mainly looks like this. When the user submits his query via the agent force UI, the agent action configured behind this agent um, has a flow which in turn makes a HTTP callout to the Swarm orchestration service. This service has been deployed on Google Cloud and is exposed as a REST API service. The central agent, which is the main component in this orchestration service, uh, forwards the user's question based on the context to a specific AI agent designated for that particular task. The clinical agent has been deployed on GCP, which does the clinical summarization using Gemini model. The medical agent is a AWS bedrock agent, which talks to vector store and the embeddings being generated using the Cloud Sonnet model. So this provides medication information related to general drug details, dosages, and side effects. The third set of agents are mainly the X-ray agents and the diagnosis agents. So these two agents have been deployed on MuleSoft platform. The first one does the X-ray analysis by getting the X-ray file and other patient data namely the medical history, symptoms, age, and so on from Salesforce. And this uses NVIDIA vision model, namely NEVA 22B for X-ray interpretation. These results are then forwarded to diagnosis agent, which provides the final diagnosis along with the treatment recommendations. The transfer here from the X-ray agent to the diagnosis agent happens through the orchestration framework. 
the agent responses are then finally sent back to the user now let's see how this works so in the interest of time i have already provided two queries to my uh, agent force agent so first one being uh, the regarding the summarization of the patient's condition so here i have provided a short few sentences of the patient's condition namely uh, fever and the current symptoms he is experiencing so the so my gcp ai agent which is basically a clinical agent has returned this response summarizing all these conditions current conditions as well as the differential diagnosis along with the final summary of the uh, patient's condition the second question i've asked my agent is to perform pneumonia diagnosis providing the patient name and the patient id so you can see the response here from two of my mules of ti agents which has provided the chest x-ray findings to the diagnosis agent and the diagnosis agent giving the final summary of all the final diagnosis as well as the recommended treatments which also includes the antibiotics which needs which could be administered as well as based on the medical conditions some suggestions for treatments so to mainly conclude on this lastly if we look at the key benefits from technical perspective so this approach mainly enables reuse reusability of ai agents built and deployed on different platforms within agent force and also expanding the capabilities of agent force across different domains and use cases here agent force acts as an advanced reasoning engine analyzing complex data inputs to guide agent decisions as well as it can also optimize the outputs from all the ai agents and coordinating the responses another significant highlight is the chaining of agents with different capabilities namely like vision or reasoning using swarms transfer functions with respect to healthcare from the healthcare perspective agent force also enables access to patient related data from health cloud and data cloud both structured and unstructured and this opens up a whole lot of possibilities like unified health scoring patient profiling chronic disease management and so on this approach also enables faster diagnosis via ai powered medical imaging and diagnostic tools and last but not least this this approach like mainly enables remote image analysis bringing diagnostic capabilities to underserved regions where there are limited access to radiologists thank you